there's gonna be I hope there's gonna be like a a Bizaya game like that's gonna be big one day and I don't need most of the words I won't need subtitles Equivalent of ten thousand dollars US, four hundred thirty-nine dollars. That's still big today. Four hundred thirty-nine. The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. What does dope mean? Drugged. That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Whoa. style line took a nose dive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. I'm Just right across. Boys, we got bad guys to catch. Poor little twist. She was 13 if she was a day. 13? Poor. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Bruh. You banter with the boys. You appear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow. Oh, the, creep, the creepy girl I'm who's sitting here is gone. Educated, he had a creepy smile on her. <gasps> That's a bad necktie. Look at his necktie. Look at his necktie. Oh. The music is always nice. It reminds me of James Dean movies. Yeah? You know what I mean? Wait, is this, is this not the exit? Yeah, what? Ah! Air! When you can't go outside, so you go outside in a real- in a- in a game. Sad. Oh wait, we already marked that? Okay, fine. I drive! This is our car, right? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, right across the street. I forgot. Come on, Cole. Leave him alone. <gasps> Why did he just flew? Oh no, the blood! <gasps> he just flew, bro! I would expect him to like just trip, but not fly. Oh, I like her outfit. Oh no, no, nah, that's bad. I don't like it. I thought it was polka dots. Bam. Oh, so he didn't she didn't reach the street. What did she crash? Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. This is Enrique Gonzalez. Okay, I gotta listen. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Doped means drugged, up. right? Not too bad, because or... if she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. It's just a kid. She didn't walk around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, just stall the ambulance. Thanks. Okay. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Hmm. Okay, let me reread everything he said. We had a way reread. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay, so one died and one lived. Okay, okay. So central receiving is a hospital, I think. Got it. How do I go down there? Do I just jump down? How do I? I think I go this way. Do I talk to her already? There's no music here, so. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. This girl is a bitch. What? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? <laughs> I'm a big fan of you? Beast of. I don't like. Keep out of this. B movie actress. 
and she's 41 years old. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. But who did this to you? Oh, she's the one who claimed it. slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. How do you know then? But I don't have anything with me. I don't believe you, Mrs. McAfee. The story's too far-fetched. I think you were drunk and lost control of the car. Well, I suggest you drug, get the results drug, of a blood yeah, drug test, test and before alcohol. you go shooting off your mouth. Unless you have some other proof. I don't have. Yeah, okay. Looks like I was mistaken. He looks she looks like um Harry Potter now, but on her forehead, her her scar. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. It's because you are. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. That's a lie and you know it. This goes deeper than that. I'm sorry. Maybe you'd like to go ahead and prove that, honey. I'm not your honey. If you don't ask, you never find out. Hold on. Let me read back. He's a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. That's a lie and you know it. This goes deeper than that. What's a lie? What is Phelps pointing at? Like he's a movie producer? He's lying that he's a movie producer or his or she's lying of his involvement. What is he pointing at? It's not going to play that way, Mrs. McCaffrey. We'll take it from there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I said I said lie, but like, my, I think, I don't know. I don't understand. If I press lie, I wanted this to point at... scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Okay, so the thing is, I tried to press lie to see if what my character would be pointing at. Like, what would, I think she would be lying. Because I don't know. If she's lying, I don't know. So I press lie to get hints from my own character like oh that's a lie and you know it but which one is he actually saying that's a lie so that i can get to my proof or i can maybe press doubt or do you search the crime scene have you been down the cliff i don't know how to get down there do i just jump down oh yeah you'll want to see this phelps there laid out on the trunk and that isn't even the best part okay now there's music Torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Okay. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried oh, about from home. if you're worried about your father, don't all is forgiven he has a lot he has a hot temper and he can be very proud but you're still his little girl and he loves you i know he didn't mean those things he said you're a good decent girl dear and you're not made for hollywood i was 15 once myself i wanted to be just like clara bow bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men men but once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would never have been happy in that life. You'll realize it one day, one day too. I'm sure Aunt Junie's looking after you, but I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to see what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. 
Emma's getting so pretty now. And little Molly is white as a button. Just like you were at her age. They need their big sister to look out for them. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, Campbell. Right. And he also, she also mentioned it. Her father. So Aunt Judy is the girl. Ju the, the one at the top. The woman. 41 years old woman. And... Okay. You ran away. She ran away. Or at least that's what the letter is trying to say. Is there anything on here? Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. What do you say? Soft tissue damage? Unconscious. Uh, out of my way, sir. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Huh? Is it real? No. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian truck and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess. Then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. <gasps> oh, okay. Dead. Yeah. They put it there to, to, to that little... We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Maybe. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Desperate? That's a big word. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Yeah, I feel like she, she was essayed. Underwear is... The right one, though, I think. She looks too familiar. Yeah. Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? Sorry, there was a lizard. <laughs> I didn't think so. Ah. You should be more careful behind the glitz. This can be a very rough old town. Yeah, I should have chosen the underwear. We found a shrunken head that was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Uh... Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. You're wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet. But simple, too. The burden of proof is with the law. I don't know. I can't really do anything. You should run along now. And don't worry yourself. This will all get sorted out. <sighs> yeah, you're ugly anyway. This is the way things get done in Hollywood. Yeah, that's the wrong color for <laughs> you, girl. Yeah, that's the wrong I color. Be in everyone's best interest if you accompany Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm being taken in. You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. How do I teabag her? Oh, Mater. This is Mater. I just realized it's a tow truck. Can I ask about laws? And like American laws. Do you guys not 
care that you don't have like a wall around your your house they just like a fence that people can hop over like what what is this this does not protect your house at all like this is not a protected house at all you you need to have like a gate like a tall gate like taller than me this this is nice this one is nice it has to be taller and no gaps under no gaps under like on the bottom i noticed that with like american homes like in movies they don't have like gates oh my god i did not push you you're it was your fault honestly oh oh my god there's a lot of taxis the taxi season oh that's the hospital oh wait wait whoa how do I stop again? People might move out of the way quicker if you use the siren. Oh wait, what's the siren? Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh yes, she's in the room right behind you, Detective. That was close. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. better since this morning jessica oh my god i thought he was a guy head trauma soft tissue damage sustained car accident residual traces of whole chloral hydrate in bloodstream external breathing to dentals and other evidence Ugh badge that i understand you're making me uncomfortable just standing around here looking at me not saying anything <laughs> sorry i need to look around before i irrelevant. before i actually interview you no good to me Okay, now I can talk. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Why would you bring that up, though? I mean, she's a kid. She's Jessica. not... Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Is there anything I can do to speed proceedings? We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that Bruh. was the of stardom. Oh my god! <gasps> it's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. Oh my... Your dad. I had a boyfriend back home, but... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. <laughs> we need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry then. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Are you sure about that, dude? You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective. Why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. <sighs> How 
How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Wait, look. You're lying, Jessica. You're a victim of the oldest scam in Hollywood. Don't protect these people. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Bishop makes movies. That's all I know. Okay, I don't have proof for that. You're off the hook for now. He makes movies, though. Okay, well, I think she's telling the truth. Because June is... June? Was that her name? June? The 41-year-old woman? That's what she told us. That he's a movie producer. And now they told her that he... Oh, he's a movie, she, he's a movie producer. He can actually make you like, be a big star. So that's probably what she believed. Okay, then. I believe. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. Okay. <gasps> it's X though. Oh, fudge. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please. It's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. What? God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. Oh my gosh. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. I don't have anything on that. It's like I made a mistake. Someone tried to kill you, Jessica. You get it? Forget about being a movie. It's time to act like a grown-up. <gasps> no, you don't have to say that. I wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? What? You, Jessica. No, it's not. Help. Wait, hold on. Here's my card. If you think of anything or if you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I don't understand what how Phelps better, uses words. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Huh? I don't understand the words that she that he chooses. That's a girl and that's a minor. You should be and if, even if she's lying, you have to be soft to her so that she can open up to you. What? That's why you don't let men handle these types of cases. They don't know what to do. Like this one. Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. Probably is a big word. She does, she's doing a new movie. Okay? Prob she probably is doing a new movie. Why would you say she's lying? What if you just said, okay, Jessica, if she's doing a new movie, Ask things about what she needs to go to the, like, this is basic. You don't have to say straight up to her, hey, I don't really believe you. Can I, like, write my own answers? Can I, can this be DND? <laughs> the, the wordings that he chose, god damn it, tell the truth. Like, you don't do that. They're still traumatized. How are they going to open up to you if you're going to be aggressive? Like, even before when you interview a, um, a victim, you need to, to explain to them, whatever we're doing over here right now, we're trying to help you and make sure that this doesn't happen to any other uh, girls there who's trying to make it big like you. You know, you got to make them understand first. It's dumb. You got to connect to her emotionally. Bruh. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. So random.
<laughs> there she goes. Come on. Wow, and she definitely didn't see us. No, you're not doing this to me. She is disobeying the traffic lights. We should have arrested her right then and there. Only I can disobey the traffic lights. She's 15. They could have said, oh, you know what? I don't know. I once knew a little girl or or maybe connect to her like personally. I had a sister who wants to be a star too. So I understand what she's trying to go through with this type of process. You know, trying to connect with her, not just go Get like, oh, we know you're like scammed, girl. Yes. She will eventually know that if you just go like talk to her. Ay! What booth? <laughs> Sorry, I was too focused on talking to you. Oh. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm being very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm doing it. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Thank you for that. Sure, I got the film. Are we gonna wait for her to go? Oh wait, she already went. This is a tasty burger. I've seen detectives on um, on like true crime documentaries. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop to light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a huge and trouble headed. What the fuck? Got an address. Wilson's hotel. They always slowly talk to them, especially when it comes to minors, because minors are scared. They don't really have that much confidence unless they're like a psychopath, you know? They don't have that much confidence. To... What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? Wait, what the fudge? She was the dead end? Tiny mind and given the Mommy! The fucking big Ballard sold her out. Wow! Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, this cars. Apartment 3, right? Oi. Why are you not running? Hello. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, mm. the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just wow. need to sit down for a What a minute. nice apartment you got. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Interesting. Check. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? What does that say? Pay to the order of what? Lorna? Hollywood? What the heck is that? I wonder if there are like actual detectives that's that are playing this game, you know, that would be nice to watch. Presented to Mark. Props. Money. It doesn't tell me anything. Get it. Take the money. Take the money. 
What is this? Maybe. No. Is that it? Looks like the old movie set downtown. <gasps> this is where she was she was taken! The little girl! She said stones. She had to lay on a stone and whatever. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Mm, this is definitely like all these Bible references, you know? Los Diablos. Yeah? Are you sure? Maybe that's what his favorite drink is. And that's what he made the girl drink. This is the cup where they pour the drink. This is what they use to mix the drink. Everything makes sense. Color mixing. This is where he learned how to mix the drinks. Who's that? Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopkins. They work together on occasion. That's Hopkins' shop. A lot of information here. Hmm. <laughs> Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Let me just see my options You're first. You're lying to cover for your husband. Do you know what you'll get for aiding and abetting? I've been abused and slapped, and now I'm accused of lying? You don't know that. Oh, wait. Who's Lorna? Oh, that's Hopgood, not Hollywood. My bad. Sorry. My mistake. Do I doubt? Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. Who's Joan Leslie? June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. <laughs> Whoa. That was a lot. Hold on. I'm overwhelmed. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. You're lying, Gloria. He knows he has to get out of town, and you're covering for him. I'm tired of this, and you have nothing to go on. Guess I don't know. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. You are complicit in all of this, Gloria. You know what happens to these poor deluded kids, and you go along with it. I need to find your husband. Why'd you come to Hollywood, detective? Handsome young man like you might find a little something in the movies. You've never thought about it? No, I haven't. Well, then you must be the only person in this burg who hasn't. We're born into temptation, detective. It's character that determines what we do about it. Huh. That was bad. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Yes. Lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I hate the ladies here. Okay, probably doubt. Like I made a mistake. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. 
They obviously have something on him if he's prepared what? to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? You've been through it yourself. <gasps> I'm going to call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me of that. Wait, is this new? Wait, what the fudge? I did not see this earlier. The black man. You're off the hook. Can I just start? For now. I'm blind. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think Ew. that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. Gosh. He's a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. So that she can get the role. Bruh. Like Ju if that June, Your bruh. I could have used the blackmail one. Husband. I didn't know it was there. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Bruh, Hollywood sucks. Whoever wants to be a big star, nah. -uh. Can I use the Bruh, I didn't know the blackmail slip Operator was there. Oh dispatch. my gosh. I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. Bro, I could have gotten four out of four correct. Still blind. 